it's your boy JC back at y'all with another video. Man, today, as a sneakerhead, we're gonna be talking about the importance of how to keep your sh your sneakers in some of the best conditions. And this is gonna be a series that I'm gonna start doing, man, just telling y'all about products that I use, products that are out there for us to, you know, as sneakerheads to keep our shoes clean. Um, other products that we can use to really, you know, stop yellowing or you know mold or anything like that if you're not wearing a sneaker and there's something that you want to keep this today will be about storage um this will be our storage part so we're going to talk about the things you can keep your shoes in now if you like me you have a lot of shoes you are you wanted to really come up with a way that fit you where you could have access to the shoes but at the same time see what shoes it is that you're looking at and see what shoes it is that you're trying to get out. You don't want to get boxes that are black with no clear front because, well, first off, you're not going to be able to know what you're looking for. So you're going to take a million years to go through if you don't memorize what shoe is in this box, this back box. So that's why these boxes work perfectly with the uh, clear, the clear see-through boxes work because I can see what shoe it is on the outside. If it's sideways, I can also see what shoe it is from the front. Those, these uh, work for me because I, I saw them on another. I don't want to, you know, take credit for no one or finding them. I'm also going to tell y'all, like, I'm going to drop where we get them at. You can get these at the container store online at their website. They sell them. You can pick them up. You, if you have a container store around you like I do, I have one about 45 minutes away. I just drive and I get me a pack of six, which costs about $54. To a lot of people, that might be expensive, but if you're a sneakerhead, you uh, don't put no value on having whatever you find to be the best way for you to keep your shoes. So I'm going to put that down below in the description so you guys can go definitely check out where to get these at. Um, like I said, initially, these are something that I really, you know, they come to call the drop front men's boxes. They are very, very useful for me, man. I just needed to be able to get to my shoes easy and quick because um, sometimes I just want to throw on something. Now, the older the shoes get or the more I don't wear a shoe, like these, I call these my front boxes because these boxes are just shoes that I put on on a daily or I try to put on a daily or just a lot of my Jordans are here. Most of my Jordans are here, actually. I put all of my Jordans here because on you know, any given day, I might wake up and just want to throw on a pair of J's. Um, I also have my Air Maxes. A couple of my Air Maxes are here. Um, on this side of my hoop shoes because I hoop a lot. So I do need to be able to get to those easy, and I don't want to go through like the whole press of like where they are, what they under, are they stacked? Now, that's not a big deal if you don't mind that or you don't have a lot of shoes and you're looking for other options. I'm gonna we're gonna talk about those here also. Um, another option at the container store. Another option you have at the container store once again are their men's shoe boxes, which are not um not. Not drop fronts. So, I mean, and it's okay. You don't have to have drop fronts. Like I said, these, I use these more for shoes that I'm not wearing as much. Um, are they men's shoe boxes? They come just as a clear box, clear container, you know, with the lid and everything. They're actually $3.99. You can get a pack of 10 for about $30. Um, at the container store, once again, another good shoe. Another good shoe box. If you just need a shoe box, you can put these. Um, it keeps out everything. I haven't had any bugs or anything in my shoe boxes, which is great. Um, so, like I said, another this is a cheaper version for you guys. Also, this is a version for people that just like to stack their shoes. If you want to go through and stack them, at one point I was stacking them, but I got tired of having to try to lift up this shoe to get to this shoe, which made me turn to the drop fronts, which are easier access to all my shoes. But like I said, if you don't have that many pairs or you just need something and you don't, you're tired of your shoe boxes. Cause a thing that really bothered me was my shoe boxes started to lean from having so many different shoes on top of so many different shoes. And the boxes started to crumble and fall apart. And they weren't really of use. Or I would buy them at the outlet and they would come as these did. No lid, no top, just a shoe. Well, you know, just the box cut open. And it's very hard to stack these boxes. So, I mean, but you might like to keep your boxes. I don't keep all of mine. I'm not going to lie. I keep all my Jordans, but anything else you see, I 9 to 10, I toss. Um, because they're not really of any value. I keep these just in case you never know you want to sell them. Keep them, whatever. You know, the value for Jordans always stays high as long as you have the OG stuff. 
keep your OG boxes. So I keep those. I mean, you can still stack your shoes if you want to go shoe box route. That's fine. All right. So the next, the next thing we want to talk about, I don't have any personally. It's something I'm looking into. Maybe I'll invest and give me a couple pairs um, for shoes that I definitely are never going to put back on feet that are just things that are heat or things that have memorable, memorable, memorable things to me that I like to keep in a pristine condition, which is, and we're going to put somewhere here, y'all will see it, Sneaker Glass. Um, Sneaker Glass has their own website, man. Once again, we're going to put that link in the description for you guys, man, if y'all want to check out Sneaker Glass. They, uh, they have some that come without a background, some that come with a background. They come with the wall platform, so if you want to hang them, great for hanging shoes. Like, if you're just tired, you're not going to wear these shoes, or you just like, all right, these are just for display because I have them. These are my grails or some I love. You can get these, hang them on a wall somewhere, hang them on your wall, and they make your room look even more stylish. And like I said, they do come with different backgrounds. They also come without the background. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're about 54 99 a pay a box or maybe a little more if that's something you're interested in like i said to you if it's something like you want to hang on the wall you really have like you it's a big memory for you or something that's like i'm not gonna wear these but i want to keep these in pristine condition my thing to you if you're doing that and you're keeping those shoes in that way make sure you get some shrink wrap and we'll talk about this later also to uh preserve your shoes get some shrink wrap shrink wrap the shoes and Put them in there, hang them on your wall. They're gonna look great, and the shrink wrap will stop the yellowing. It's not gonna, they're not gonna get oxidized, so the yellowing will never happen. So you don't have to worry about that. It changes that concern. I know that's a big concern for a lot of people. Um, last but not least, something new I've seen um, recently. I have to get the description. Um, hold on one. All right. Um, so on to the next. Next thing we'll be looking at are the sneaker throne cases. These cases come with uh, the lighting inside. They can hold up to, I believe, six pairs of shoes, maybe four, depending on the way you place them. Once again, this is, you could use this just if you want to put your grails in just a secret, a special box on top of something. Like, say I stack these and I just want to put my grails on top. I can put my holy grails and just be like, all right, these are those. Or you could do anything else, or you could just, if you have a small collection, once again, it's okay. It, you don't need to have a big collection to be a sneakerhead. You can love shoes and not keep a million pairs. You don't have to have that many pairs. The thing is, you just really want to have somewhere where you're set, you feel comfortable with your shoes, and they're also easy to access. This right here is a case. You can put them in there. Like I said, it comes with the lighting, everything that you'll need. Um, so as a sneakerhead, you really, if you want to invest, and something for storage these are some of the options that you have available to you i'm not saying you have to use them i'm not saying you need to use them it's up to you how you keep your shoes some people keep them in a the box with towels on them you can do it that way that's an old school method to keep the shoes in uh pristine condition they will put a towel then they will put the shoes back in they will fold the towel over the top you can still do that if that's something you want to do that is a cheaper route um easier route for some people me personally i didn't want to do that route i wanted to try something different and i wanted to try something i like so if that's really what you're looking for if you see something you like man like i said all of these websites everything that i'm talking about here will be in the description like i said we're going to continue this series on sneakerhead necessities and we will continue to talk about the things that you need to be a sneakerhead to keep your shoes clean keep them pristine, keep them in all the, con in the perfect condition for you. It's your boy JC, man. Back at y'all telling y'all about stories, man. Anything y'all see y'all like, man, check it out below. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out, y'all.